Hi, I'm Madeline, and today is all about why worrying is a waste of time. Do you spend time worrying about future possibilities that may happen? If the answer is yes, this video is for you. Today, it's time to start looking at worrying differently. Why? Worrying creates mental stress, which creates both emotional and physical stress in the body. Cortisol, the stress hormone, gets produced when our mind or body tells us that there is danger or even the possibility of future danger. This impacts our nervous system and our ability to heal. Now imagine the impact to your health if you are always worrying all the time. I invite you to get out your journal and write down the one thing that is worrying you the most right now. You may even be losing sleep over it. You can pause this video while you complete each step. Next, write down the worst case scenario if this worry were to come true. Describe it in as much detail as you can. How would you feel if this were to happen? And how would this impact every area of your life? Pause the video again while you do this. Now, feel the emotional state that you are in having just put all your focus on this worst case scenario. How does your body feel? Are you feeling anxious? Perhaps even a little bit nauseous? Notice how focusing on your biggest worry feels in your body. Now, there are three questions I want you to ask yourself. Note that it's helpful to write down your answers for whenever you need a reminder not to worry. Number one, how likely is it that this worst case scenario could actually happen. Most often, the chances of that worst case scenario happening is low. Number two, is worrying about it now helping you manage or prevent the worst case scenario from happening? To clarify, I'm not talking about contingency planning. I'm asking about whether constantly worrying about it is helping you. Number three, Regardless of whether the worst case scenario happens or not, is it worth your health every single day leading up to this possible future? And especially when it doesn't happen, do you want to make it harder for your body to heal by stressing it out unnecessarily? Does this make you want to choose differently the next time you notice yourself starting to worry? You can do this journaling exercise with anything you are continuously worrying about. I'll be talking more about our self-care needs in future videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.